Sapoja. Did that this speech okay. change anything for you? It's just like yes, all of these things you're saying to you know, to Bernie supporters, they sound nice. Of course they sound nice. But it's just is she actually going to is she actually going to capitalize? Is she, is she actually gonna make sure that those things happen? You know, she's she's all, she's so used to talking and talk, but you know, she needs to walk the walk. She needs to actually stand by her word and to this point in her life, you know, in her political career, she's flip-flopped on so many things. She's changed her position on so many things. Is she gonna change her position again once she gets elected? That's that's what people don't know and that's what she needs to work on from now until the election. She needs to gain the trust of the Bernie supporters because right now she does not have their trust. And that, Just a quick question, will you vote for her? As of today I would not vote for her. Um, yeah, as of, as of right now, I will not vote for Guns and I will not vote for uh, Donald Trump. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, she's, she still has work to do. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's basically it. I mean, she has to earn the votes of, of these people who have their apprehensions about her and who, who are unsure, you know, of her integrity and, and of her honesty when she says statements like this. So, we just need to, you know, if she continues to, you know, to, to stand by what she's been talking about, then, then yes, then, then, then maybe I, you know, I will. But, but as of right now, no, she, she still has, has work to do. She has to earn the votes. We're not just going to fall in line behind here. People are done choosing between the lesser of two evils. We saw someone who was actually good. We didn't have to choose evil anymore in Bernie Sanders. So, uh, so yeah, so I mean, fear isn't going to work. You know, but she has to actually come out in support of these things and strongly. Thank you. Thank you very much.